everybody welcome to another exciting episode of Javier in the air uh, this is season 5 episode 5 so I hope everybody had a good weekend I know I did I uh, had some great uh, friends over last night we did a bourbon tasting which you'll see some more of during spirit times and also got some good uh, trash picking in for trash in the hood uh, so I hope it's it's beautiful outside it's in the 70s I went out for a nice uh, doing some yard work but wound up just enjoying the weather and the atmosphere and the sunny sky and everything so uh, that worked out real nice for those of you who have this is your second time then welcome to uh, Javier in the air for those of you for your first time welcome and for those of you who have been here before welcome back I'm not Mr. Cotter but if you get the reference you know what I'm talking about so um, why don't we go ahead and get going uh, I'm trying to, trying to keep this as short as possible as usual uh, I also have a new uh, riddle me this so why don't we go ahead and get into our trash in the hood dark frog social media presents trash in the hood weeks 81 and 82 okay so this is re week 81 day one uh, wasn't that bad except a very interesting cinnamon toast crunch uh, on the right there uh, there wasn't uh, anything too crazy there was a couple of weird vape pens uh, the normal cigarette butts and I did find the top to a um, plastic container uh, that you normally use for you know for boxing up your stuff that you want to keep uh, not a paper box and so uh, very interesting overall but nothing crazy like orange latex glove hadn't seen orange in a while uh, this is day uh, four and as you notice uh, it, it starts picking up on the on the roots that I'm going on baggies and cigarette boxes and uh, of course beverages left and right because nobody knows how to keep them in their car candy wrappers blue latex gloves uh, the normal that I see crush cans and just kind of craziness um this was um uh one of my normal routes where i go down hatch and el salito so you see uh, a lot of the stuff uh, on there plus a little bit on 620 as well so it's a little bit crazy um but going into week 82 day one you see i got some real craziness going on here so uh masks and a greasy bag that had food in it probably and the and the um you know the animals got to it beverage containers uh, business cards uh, store card of course the cigarette butts uh, not as many as you're gonna see here in a minute but some uh, little craziness a bunch of um, uh, ceramic pot too it looks like someone smashed or left or dropped off of their car uh, again this was on hatch so day four really was craziness I went into some new areas or areas I hadn't been to in a long time uh, and you see the stuff there's like a Nutella jar that was just out in the middle of the street that Hershey's and uh, I think it says naughty those are like dog uh, chew toy type things a uh, bottle of alcohol of course and a crazy uh, vape pen and a new record for 2024 85 that's right 85 cigarette butts we found on our on our route of course this was 620 Hatch, El Salito, Peppergrass Trail, and a bunch of other uh, streets as well. So there you have it. So I was asked the other day, uh, why do I uh, show this on my show? Well, I think it's it's quite interesting and uh, kind of a little dig to um, people that are being trashy in my neighborhood. Um, I, I don't ever give names. I don't ever give houses or anything like that because I don't think they deserve that I don't know what's going on in their lives however it's just maybe people in general can start thinking about what's uh, good for the next generation good for the next person and so on uh, and just not throw your stuff out I mean I know I've done my fair share over the years but since I've been doing this I've been more cognizant uh, and you know probably even before that um, I just realized that it was just a dumb thing to do uh, you can throw your trash away when you get home or when you get to whatever location you're doing um, now I know some people get their cars kind of junky uh, but that's on them there's, if, if there's a trash can wherever you go even when you get home so you can always do that so what really bothers me more um, than that is the uh, cigarette butts that I find so part of the reason why I do this is so that maybe people can 
realize that cigarette butts do not really decompose. Um, I, I'm sure they do eventually, but it's not any short time. So um, tossing them out your window is just plain stupid and selfish. Um, now, like I said, for some of the other things, some of the stuff I find, I've, uh, I'm sure they've fallen off a construction vehicle. I'm sure they may have like in the bed of a person's truck and they don't realize it and the wind just takes it out. I, I can give you that on some of these things, but uh, cigarette butts, no. There, it's not, you, nobody has a bunch of cigarette butts and then inadvertently gets swept out of their car or vehicle. So uh, if anything I do at least helps in some way, shape or form, uh, then good. And in the very least, at least it's cleaning up my neighborhood. I like to drive down and walk down my streets and not see anything. Unfortunately, because I am picking up trash, I do get to see the trash that's always out there. And it's always out there. It's never, I've never, I think I've gone one day where it was very, very, very light. And I think no cigarette butts and that's because it was deep cold. You can check in my archives for that. Um, and I do get some uh, I am beginning to get some positive uh, feedback from individuals out on the street when I'm on the hood and I like that that's nice I'm glad that they're not being negative um, positive always helps and so maybe they will um, pass it on so we'll see okay so now we're gonna go into our um, I think we'll do our Zen moment now get our, get ourselves nice and ready for the rest of the show so here we go to our Zen moment So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I hope you were outside maybe and watching this on uh, your phone or if you have your laptop out there, uh, watch the Zen moment uh, in this wonderful, beautiful weather that we have. Uh, is it going to stay around? Don't know. Is it going to get hotter? More than likely as we go into the summer. Uh, so take advantage of it while you can. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, and thank you for the feedback that I'm getting from people on the Zen moment. Uh, I'm glad it's... Um, uh, penetrating to some of you people out there that it's enjoyable um, if you haven't listened to it if you skip through it maybe you'll go back and listen to it again or listen to it for the first time so now I'm going to take you through the uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do our uh, spirit time yes let's do spirit time and then uh, I'll finish us up with our uh, riddle me this a uh, new segment of the show that I've been doing for 2024 which I hope everybody has liked so if you're interested in being on the show um, wanting to be a part of it in some way shape or form please reach out to me um, you can get me by commenting here on my YouTube channel Javier in the air you can also tag me on my handle which is Javier in the air zero one that's Javier in the air zero one and in the air not on the air 
If you'd like to be a co-host for an episode or two, reach out to me. If you have a local mom and pop business, either in the Cedar Park, Austin area or anywhere in the country, but you're interested in being on my show, uh, by all means, reach out to me and I'll get you on there. So let's see what I can get on here this year. Um, I know we're going to be doing some crazy things. Um, I'll be adding more things to it. I'm going to try to keep it under 30 minutes or less and see how that goes. Uh, we may have to do some two or maybe even some three-parters. Uh, I know we're going to be heading into uh, what I like to call tasting season, uh, which is a good se uh, segue. Uh, in that respect, I mean tasting as going out to some breweries and having a taste out there with uh, Brother Rob. But in this respect right now, we're going to go into our spirit time. So spirit time uh, for those of you who may not know, is a the segment of the show where I do a review of a beer, a liquor, or a wine, and then hopefully, uh, eventually one of these days, uh, any of those manufacturers will reach out to me and contest my rating, and then we could have a good dialogue and discussion about it, and they could bring me some more beers that they or liquor or wine that they think I should try and also have on the show. So in this respect going to go to yesterday set our way back machine to yesterday where we had a bourbon tasting here at my house and so for those of you who may not know i've been doing tastings at my house since i moved in back in 2014 started around 2015 actually um, and was going very consistently at least every other month on average until covid hit and then i would and then it dropped off considerably of course i couldn't even do some and so it was tough to do, but we managed to get it uh, back uh, starting about, uh, I'd say about this time last year, I started doing them again and have been fairly consistent. Um, and last night we did bourbon. So not scotch, we did bourbon. So a little bit more difficult, but that's what we voted on last month. So uh, we decided to go for it and I went for it and uh, it was great we had about 11 people here uh, it was fantastic i made some bourbon maple candied bacon and then i also took some uh, non bread and uh, just heated it up but on top of that i added some uh, fig jam some uh, brie cheese on top of that uh, crumbled it as much as i could crumble a brie uh, and spread it out and then i also put um some crumbled prosciutto and how you do uh, a prosciutto uh, and if you take the uh, prosciutto and you uh, bake it for a time um, I think it had, I had it at 375 no I had it at 400 for about 20 minutes uh, be sure and spread it out uh, so that they don't double up because then they don't really um, dry out and get crispy but uh, I got most of it about 90 percent of it uh, to the point where you take it out and you let it cool and as soon as you let it cool it really does become crunchy and you're able to then do crumble over the bread i think next time i'm going to put the brie cheese on first and then put the fig jam because uh it's difficulty trying to spread something that doesn't like to be spread in the first place so anyway that uh turned out fantastic uh we had let's see here we had eight uh, submissions last night uh, we got through them all they were fantastic well I couldn't say all of them were fantastic you'll see here in a minute but uh, it was good time everybody enjoyed it we had plenty of food nobody left hungry nobody left uh, so that they couldn't make it home I always make sure that everybody makes it home and at the end when I come back I'll tell you what our next tasting is and if you're in the Cedar Park area and you know me um, reach out to me and maybe I can get you on the invite or on to the party I, I try to limit the number of people but we didn't even have enough uh, for me to be concerned about trying to find chairs so um, I try to get as uh, as many people over as possible and it also depends on what people like I mean I've had uh, some tastings parties where there's been four of us because it was so obscure nobody really wanted it and then I've had some where I've had like 20 to 25 people so it makes it a little bit difficult but we got it in so that's fantastic so uh, here without further ado I know I took, took up more time than I thought I would let's go and check out our bourbon tasting 
Dark Frog Social Media presents Spirit Time. This week, bourbon tasting. All right, so here we go. This is the first four tastings that we had. Now, uh, to be honest, we only did like two. Actually, this in this one, we did the first three, the first three on the right, and then we took a break because with this much bourbon, even though we're doing just very, very mild tasting, you got to you gotta take a break. So the first one on the right is Willet. A uh, beautiful bottle, um, just exquisite. Uh, however, the uh, bourbon sucked, and so uh, nobody gave it. Unfortunately, that was my submission, so that got uh, canned right away. Number two, second from the right, is a uh, straight uh, Burdorf Whiskey Redemption. Uh, so this is uh, this turned out to be a very good. Uh, bourbon uh, it was at 90 proof the uh, uh will our 92 proof the will it was at 94 uh and it was very nice but uh still a little bit peaty uh number three uh we'll go to number three later and number four which is third from the right is the chestnut farms uh bourbon uh turned out to be really nice uh very very nice very good price point uh, it was also 90 proof uh, and was much smoother so as uh, we just randomly put these in the order that people walked in and it turned out we did pretty decent for that so the uh, next four you see here uh, are sorry a little technical glitch there so uh, the last one which is the first of the, the one on the far left is Knob Creek this is the smoked maple edition of their bourbon and this was the winner this was um, uh, to me personally, I thought it tasted a little bit too much like uh, pancake syrup, but everybody seemed to love it, and I think that's why, because of the taste. So it won. Uh, but the next four, uh, let's start with the right. This one is uh, New Riff uh, by uh, Riff Distillery, and it is it was really good. It, this was 112 proof. Uh, so it went down smooth and but the thing is even though it was a high proof count it didn't hurt our 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 throat going down it actually went down smooth so it was a very nice it was a it wasn't a contender but it did very well um, and then to the left of that was uh, Woodford uh, Reserve their double oak and it turned out it was really good as well uh, very high quality, very smooth, went down smooth, but just couldn't compete with the uh, pancake syrup. I'm sorry, the um, uh, maple uh, one. So then uh, second from the left was the Hog 3, uh, which was very uh, decent. It, it, it had some it consistencies in it, and it uh, not everybody got a really enjoyed it um i thought it was okay but it wasn't enough to win like i said and then last but not least uh was originally number three but we moved it to the end because this was rockwood distilling company's chocolate bourbon cream liqueur so it wasn't really what we wanted in our requirements but we threw it in there at the end anyway and it had a very nice finish to it i would recommend it um it's along the lines of like a kalua i would recommend it with like ice cream or in your coffee in the morning give it a little kick you know if you're not at work and uh turned out very well so um thanks to everyone that competed uh we do have a winner for uh, which is the Knob Creek Smoked Maple, and they will get their prize. Thanks a lot. Okay, so there you have it. So if any of that uh, struck your fancy or started you salivating, um, then and you are in the Cedar Park area and you'd like to come to the next one, the next one we voted on last night, and it is Sparkling Wine. So that leaves a, a very huge area. So... Um, now some I'm sure I'll have some people that are coming and say well the sparkling wine encompass champagne because if it's not from the champagne area of France then it has to be called sparkling wine and should we then include champagne I'm not sure yet I'm on the fence I'm gonna probably talk to a couple people that are that are gonna make it to the to the tasting and see what their thoughts on it are um, I mean I'm not gonna forbid somebody from bringing the champagne it's just a matter of whether they get um, judged for it under the category or not so uh, we'll see how that goes and for those of you who may not like white wine they do have some sparkling red wines now so are they any good i don't know we're going to find out and see so um, that will be the next one so if any of that 
piques your interest and you live in the Cedar Park area, uh, reach out to me and I'll see if I can uh, organize everything so I can get you an invite for it. So, um, okay, so now we're coming to the uh, last part of the show. But before I get to that, let me adjust my cap here. Before I get to that, I just want to uh, once again reach out to people that are this is their first time and say thank you for checking out Javier in the air. Uh, if you think anybody that you know may be interested in watching the show, by all means, please share the link with them uh, or comment on it or tag people if I if you see it on Facebook. Um, I'm trying to do my best to see if I can get more and more followers this year. Not saying I'm going to become one of those uh, digital creator, you know that have thousands of people I never gonna I'm never gonna expect that but it'd be nice to get a few more than what I have now uh, plus I think it's interesting I, I mean I like me so why wouldn't somebody else um, if you have a chance also um, and you're interested in seeing it I try to put the titles as much as possible uh, in the title uh, as much information as I can using the character limit that YouTube has uh, so if you want to go search through the archives you can you can also just do a search on my on my YouTube page and you might be able to get some of the shows we have some really good shows um, I have the Pavlovskis on a lot uh, my neighbors they're fantastic they do a tamalada they do moon they do uh, vegetable gardening in fact I'll have I'm sure I'll have them on again this year because they uh, are getting some wonderful vegetables out of their garden um, and then from there um, you you met you never know what you may find if you're interested in a particular beer and you wanted to see if there if I've done a review on it by all means do a search and uh, I'm sure I've come across it if I haven't already done a review on it if you want to see a particular beer or liquor or wine on the show then just reach out to me however you know however you can and let me know and I'll get it on the show all right so last section of the show is a new segment that I've been doing called riddle me this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, what was the answer to last week's rid or the last time of riddle me this and then I'm gonna show you one for this week's uh, riddle me this and then you have a chance so if you wanna guess it you can send me a direct message or you can send me a comment and make a guess and uh, we'll see who is closest or who gets it. So uh, we didn't get anybody last week to get it, get it correctly. So let's go check it out. So welcome back to Riddle Me This. This was week two, our second segment, our second edition of this segment. Um, and what is this? You know what I. Is it what? I just can't tell what it is. So uh, so I didn't get any uh, correct responses this week. So we're going to go ahead and pull back. And yes, it was the state law that you have to yield to pedestrians when they're in the crosswalk. Uh, actually, you should yield to them all the time, but this was just in case. Uh, and so this is actually out on Dagama between the, um, uh, the park uh, on the left and housing on the left and then the actual elementary school on the right hand side. So, what are we doing this week? Okay, I know what you're thinking. I know what this is. I definitely know what this is. Well, do you? So, I'm not just looking for what it is, but I'm also looking for what type it is. So, that may help you, uh, help ruin it for everybody. If you think you know what this is, please go ahead and leave a comment in the... Um, show on YouTube or you can send me a direct message if you know how to get to me so what is this riddle me this hey everybody so thank you for watching the show this week uh, I hope you enjoyed my little corner of the internet my little corner of YouTube if you have any comments thoughts suggestions uh, please feel free to leave them on my YouTube YouTube channel that's Javier in the air uh, send me a message using my handle Javier in the air zero one or any other way you know how to reach me carrier pigeon works too hey why not uh, so I will be I should be back next week I know I've been skipping weeks here and there but things have been coming up and so hopefully everything has now been squared away so I can bring it bring you a brand new episode next week with a new spirit time a new Zen moment 
and of course as always a new trash in the hood uh, so for and for real quick uh, I did have someone ask me if it has it been actually 82 weeks and yes it has been 82 weeks that I've been picking up trash and walking through the neighborhood uh, trying to help me get a little bit healthier so all in all it's been good uh, I hope to keep going with it and uh, the next celebration on that will be when I reach two years which should be in uh, 104 so we got uh, 21 weeks so we'll see if I can get there uh, maybe have a celebration out in the street with family and friends so that's it for this one I hope you enjoy the rest of this warm and sunny and beautiful weather out here on Sunday uh, I don't know what the week is in store but hopefully it'll be good as I will be commuting this week so uh, everybody enjoy be safe and I'll see you next week thanks a lot everyone <music>